Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Life Suck. Right, this is my next video for you. This is if the light winds from Be Quiet are worth it. Continue to watch. Right, let's get into it. Right, is the light wings from Be Quiet worth it? Now, a couple of things I want to say is this is basically my impression and my thoughts on the fans I got sent from Be Quiet. Now, yes, I am using them in my personal build because they said I was allowed. So, what I'm, what I'm going to do is show you what the best thing about the RGB fans are and that's one is that it comes with an included RGB hub now best thing as well is that you don't need be quiet software they can be run from mystic light to a so uh, asus aura even signal rgb which is a software you download uh, it comes with extensions as well as an extension for that and the fans fantastic now the rgb illumination is fantastic yeah the i wish they brought up white versions of the fans the white versions would look absolutely stunning in a white build where i've got a white case and it would look fantastic in that now the best thing about it is as well is the silent they go 2500 rpm now yes you can hear them at 2500 rpm but even not to a fans if they went if they go that fast you will still hear them there's just nothing you can do when it comes to that type of rpm speeds now what i i'm not a, fr a, f a friend of or I'm not liking is the price now the price at the moment on Amazon is £80 for three ARGB fans from Be Quiet now I don't think they're worth that but if I remember correctly the MSRP are £60 and I believe they're £20 fans so if you got the pack it the pack it would be £60 now i've looked on scan i've looked on ccl i've looked on overclockers the only place i can really find them is scan uh, box.co.uk and amazon so this you know they're quite limited to where they go in but for rgb fans they're fantastic uh the pwm aspect where you can just control it from motherboard header that is another feature that i believe all RGB fan brands should make, should do standard is PWM. Not like the Etsy fans, which I done, yes, on Thursday. Worst experience I've ever had with RGB fans. And I paid for them on Amazon just to do a video, use them and see what they're like. They're absolutely horrible. I hate them. They're not good. They're not good fans. I wouldn't recommend them. Unless you don't care about uh, acoustics, but right, let's get back to this, right? So you get the RGB controller. Now that cable for the SATA or SATA, whatever, uh, that's a good length. That means you can put it in a prominent place where the fans go, and this can go right down the below. Then it is three pin ARGB. That's 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 fantastic. Still brilliant. Now they're saying the noise dB is 31 decibels. Um, at 1500 RPM, I can't hear them at all. 2500 RPM, yes, they are noticeable. You can hear them. Actually, what I'll tell you what I will do is I will load up MSI Center because I've got them on my connected to the motherboard and they're set through another RGB header. Now, yes, the reason I'm not using this is because I already had a hub with enough ports. And since they are ARGB, as well as 4-pin four, four PWM, it was easy just to connect. Right, so I'll go into MSI Center. I'll go to User Scenario, go to Customize, and there they are. Right, at the moment, they're running at 1340. Right, so here we go. Uh, 
I don't know if you can hear that. Oh look, right? Yeah, obviously, but 2500 RPM is very loud. I'd say if you are used to not loud noises, that would be fine. But for me personally, I keep it down to about 49%. So that runs just perfect. And these blow fantastic amounts of air. Now, what they're saying by here as an airflow is between CFM 30, uh, 52.3 and 88.86 uh, CFM. So that, I, even at basically 1300 RPM, you can feel them really fantastic. The air pressure is 2.6 uh, H2O. Um, it is input per watt is 5.4 the light in is a 5 volt ARGB connector and a lifespan of 25 Celsius of 60,000 hours so yeah um, I would put a link down below but the prices on Amazon and stuff are absolutely ridiculous I wouldn't pay that much don't get me wrong these are fantastic fans but not worth £80. As much as I appreciate Be Quiet Selling Me stuff, I don't think they're worth £80. Maybe if the 140s in a 3-pack were maybe around £70, then yes, because the RGB aspect of it is fantastic. It has a ring on one side, and then it has a ring right there on the back. So it means that it illuminates the inside as well as a little bit on top. It does look quite nice. So, yeah. Are they worth it? Yes. But the price dictates that completely. I wouldn't pay £80 for them. The most I've spent on fans is £45 for the Antec fans. And I did not have a very good experience because after a month or so, one of the fans just completely seized up and died. Now, when you're paying that kind of money, you expect it to be good quality. But, oh well. Just put me off buying RGB fans from them. But I am looking at some more of their RGB fans. Because at the end of the day, I do a lot of RGB fan uh, reviews and unboxings and stuff. So I want to kind of be known for that. So, yeah. This is Rich Welsh Tech. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you again. Bye-bye.